Ed. Looking for his 12th win of the season. That would tie him for first in the AHL if he can get there. Gross saddles up and lets one fly for Kemmel. They score a power play goal, and the Admirals are on the board. Near corner of the defensive zone for Milwaukee. Andy Walensky's down from his point posture, loses his stick. The puck rolls away to center. A beautiful pass by Gurianov. Here's Kemmel into the right circle. He drags once and twice and scores. Joachim Kemmel doubles up early, and it's 2-0 Milwaukee. Mike O'Leary went crashing through the paint on that. Now O'Leary trying to knock this puck loose to the circle and does. He has room and a save from Grosinick, but he had to bend backwards. Patan races across the offensive line. Fogarty stripes it across for Lucini, who steps in. A save from Grosinick. The rebound, I'm not sure what it hit. It was wanding one into the slot. Knocked down Lucini on the net. The puck is loose. Two whacks at it. Both Fogarty got to it as well as Patan. But they don't get a shot, and now it's LaRue the other way. He'll have McCune joining him, two on one. Zach LaRue for McCune, they score. A shorthanded goal, and it's 3 nothing. But so is Afanasev. Bankier back with it, trundles his way past Afanasev into the high slot, a great feed, and then a post by Kevin Conley. Definitely a skating clinic there on that icing and watching Lambos and Stassen skate. Two defenders who can really move well. In the high slot, here's a great chance, and they score again. It's Willsby off of a body in front, and it trickles behind Volstead, and the sky is falling here in the first in Milwaukee. And back into the hands of the Czech defender, David Spotcheck, and then right on the tape of Milwaukee's Angelo. He rifles one from the high slot. It's behind Volstead, and it goes in. Zafanasev spills across the blue line. Lucini turns one over in the high slot. LaRue for Livingstone, a save and a rebound, and it's 6-0. Dropped along for Bank here. Dishing his way down the left-hand wall. Centering feed, Lambos with a bullet and a save by Grosinek, who came way out to cut down the angle. So Iowa has a power play here late in the period. Walensky at the blue line, holds the line. Walker with 10 to play to the goal line. It's Fogarty stepping right in front. They score! I think it might be Nick Patan on the near side who found that puck in a mess of bodies. And Iowa's off the schneid with two seconds to go in the period. Nick Patan to the right point, Walensky. He'll shoot. That didn't miss by much on the near side. You've seen Iowa here just kind of relieve that pressure that they got in the first two times. What a shot by Nick. Whoa. Well, Nick Patan, if there is a silver lining to find here in Milwaukee, the Wizard has found his wand again. Ryan O'Rourke at the left point. Big rebound in front after Lucini tipped it. Svechkov across to the dangerous Kemmel. Up top, it's gross to the right circle. Svechkov's one-timer, and there's a noggin stop from McIntyre. He leaned into that one with his forehead. The centering feed intercepted by Spotcheck. Bolts it clear. Iowa has numbers. Here's Sammy Walker speeding into the left circle. Centers to Patan. He scores! A hat trick for Nick Patan. And hold on, it's 6 3 with Kevin Wall trying to turn the corner on Masters. He has, and a blocker save from McIntyre, and then a second stunning right pad save on the rebound. Iowa looking for one more to make it an agonizing end of the night for Milwaukee. Astastini maybe just put this one to bed with a point shot that gets through, and it's 7 3 at one point. Nick Patan's got a hat trick. He might have another point coming here as Teasdale makes it 7-4. Oh, and that seventh goal is just a gut punch now.